In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the NG Models November 2020 releases. Uh, now, I'm kind of going to be rushing through this, because um, there's a lot more than last month's, so I just apologize. Uh, and I wasn't able to release this video when the actual releases came out. Uh, I'm so sorry, I was just in a cabin in Pennsylvania with my family, so I wasn't able to do any of that. Um, but, anywho, uh, let's start off. Uh, starting off, we have the uh, Airbus Beluga A330. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. Um, overall, it's, it's a very appealing model. Uh, this is going to be very popular with you German and French collectors. Um, and basically, here's a little bit of um, backstory behind the Airbus A330 Beluga. So basically, in the... Um, 1970s, uh, when Airbus first became a thing, the Super Guppy was developed, uh, which was kind of the first generation Airbus Beluga. Um, and then once the Airbus A330 was developed, the Super Guppy was replaced by, I believe, three or four uh, Airbus Belugas. Uh, but anywho, this is what the model looks like, or what will look like. Uh, registration is Fox Shot Golf X Ray Lima India. Uh, scales 1 to 400, and it is, wow, $63, and, um, it's just Beluga XL number 3. Wow, I'm getting this. I am 100% getting this. This is a deal, man. Uh, Delta 737-800. Uh, this is just a normal livery. Uh, I'm getting it because I really need it for Newark. Uh, Delta Dofly 8021s. 737s and CRG 900s to Detroit, Minneapolis, and Atlanta from Newark. Uh, the majority of the time fly a 737-800, so this would really help. Uh, now, I was going to get a Gemini Jets version of it, uh, but I decided to wait for NG, and my work did pay off, as now uh, the Delta 737-800 is released. So, this is definitely on my to-get list. Uh, I have already pre-ordered it, uh, so... In mid December, uh, early November, early December, mid December, you guys should expect an unboxing of that. But anywho, this is what the model looks like. Uh, and now let's move on to the other information. Uh, registration is November 3734 Bravo. It's one 400 scale and it's 4559. Okay, moving on, we have this WestJet uh, 737 800 with split scimitars in the old livery. Um, you Canadian collectors, y'all are gonna love this. This is going to sell out fast, as the Gemini Jets one sold out very fast. From what I know, uh, I've talked to people about it. Uh, it sold out very fast, but personally, um, me personally, I don't know, because I was too young. I was like six when this was released. Uh, I haven't. Even, I've only been collecting since December of last year, keep in mind. Uh, but anywho, this is your Westjet 737-800 split scimitars in the old livery. Um, it is 1 to 400 scale. Uh, Vitrician is Charlie Golf uh, Julia Lima Zulu. It is 45.59, and of course, it has a scimitar winglets. Moving on. Oh, wow. NG, you guys can do better than this, honestly. You got a Westjet 737-800 split scimitars old livery in the one, number 100 Boeing 737-NG next generation. This is going to be popular with you Canadian collectors, like I said, with the last model. But literally, the only difference between this, the regular Westjet, and this Westjet is this tiny print, which is going to look really, really tiny when it comes out. Like, come on. At least make like a special event, like the Disney livery. That that one's really rare. Uh, but this is also going to sell out most likely because there right now, from what I know, is a shortage of WestJet models. Uh, but anywho, there's a WestJet 77-800. Uh, registration is Charlie Golf Alpha Whiskey Sierra. It is scale 1 to 400 and is 45.59. Moving on, uh, we have a Air China 737-800 in the... Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics livery. Literally, it's just a normal Air China 737-800, but just like shaded darker blue. The farther down you go through the fuselage, these two weird characters and these tiny logos. So, but still though, this is probably gonna be popular among you, like maybe Korean collectors, uh, 
Taiwanese collectors, Japanese collectors, as the 737s um, do fly around that area. Um, but anywho, let's move on to the other information. Uh, registration is Bravo 5425. It is scale 1 to 400 and is 4559. Moving on, we have a promotional aircraft. I don't know if this is does this livery exist in real life? Comment down below. Like, I have no idea, actually. Uh, it is the Xiamen Air. Xiamen. I'm going to call it Xiamen because Beijing Dasing. We say Dasing. So maybe Xiamen. Um, I'm just going to call it Xiamen. Pardon me for my pronunciation. I'm not Mandarin. I'm not Korean. I'm not Chinese. I'm not Japanese. I don't know. Uh, I know this isn't Mandarin, but I don't speak Mandarin. So I'm just going to call it Xiamen Air. Um, if I'm incorrect, uh, please don't hate me for it. Um... Please comment down below what's correct. Uh, but anywho, it is in the Beijing Dasing livery. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, Beijing, Beijing Dasing Airport is going to be one of the biggest airports by 2025, apparently. Uh, eventually, it's going to overtake Atlanta, but I highly doubt that. Um, but yeah, basically, what it says is a bunch of stuff in Mandarin for the prosperity of Beijing Dasing. It has this Mandarin writing over here, but this this is a nice livery. It's actually visually the blue, or at least in the drawing, the blue is very visually appealing. Um, wow, it's very visually appealing to me. Uh, but anywho, this is the aircraft, and let's move on to the other information. Uh, registration is Bravo five six five six. Registration is one to four hundred, and it is forty five fifty nine. Moving on, we have the China Southern uh, 737-800 in the hometown Henan livery. Uh, it's basically just the normal uh, China Southern 737-800, except you have uh, blue Mandarin writing, uh, Chinese writing. Uh, this is uh, China Southern and Chinese uh, Mandarin, sorry. Uh, and you have these purple petals and a pink flourish. This is an interesting livery. I don't know if Henan's an actual city in China. Um, I believe it is. Um, I'm gonna X out a tab. Actually, that's that's pretty. That's a pretty. That's something that's pretty interesting. Henan, China. Oh, it's a Chinese province. Okay, it is a Chinese province. Henan. Next to Xi'an. Xi'an. Aha, Zhengzhou. Okay, I can see why now. Okay, uh, but that was the hometown Henan livery. Uh, let's take one last final good look at it. Registration is Bravo 1979 uh, It's 1 to 400 and it's 4559. Uh, but there are a lot of special liveries in this release. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7. There's a lot of new, uh, special liveries. Uh, but anywho, wow. Uh, you British collectors, you British retro, collect retro collectors, y'all are gonna love this. They are three British Airways, uh, 757 200s, but we're going to start uh, doing them in order. First, we have the British 757 200 in the Legion Pause to Remember livery, uh, Royal British Legion. Um, now, basically, I'm going to do a little bit of a history lesson. Uh, it's very brief. So, basically, um, this Pause to Remember livery um, basically is to commemorate all those who died in terrorism. Uh, war, specifically World War One, World War Two. It's basically to commemorate all the British soldiers who died in war. Um, the Royal British Legion it says and shows a poppy. Uh, now, basically, if you go on to BBC, I don't know if they still do it, uh, but the, some of the news anchors and hosts will be wearing a poppy, uh, and that is to um, celebrate all those. Not celebrate. Remember all those lost. I'm so sorry for saying that. Remember all those lost. Uh, in World War One, uh, but it has a poppy. Uh, the Royal British Legion, pause to remember United Kingdom, um, and it's a British 757. I believe they retired these in 2010, right? Uh, but anywho, that was delivery. Uh, registration Golf uh, Papa Echo Kilo, uh, scale one to 400, and it's 4559. Moving on, we have a same registration aircraft except in a. Okay, what? I know this is a real thing in real life, uh, but it is a gray livery, uh, open skies 757-200, British open skies 757-200. Um, 
Jim Riders did release a blue version of this, uh, this, this aircraft in blue. Um, but that's making me curious. What's Open Skies? Open Skies Airline. Open Skies is an airline owned by International. Oh! Oh, they ceased operations, that's why. Okay, yeah. Now, prior to searching up Open Skies, um, uh, they did fly to Newark, I believe, in 2008 using this aircraft. Um, but yeah, one final good glimpse of the aircraft. Here you guys go. As we on to the information, uh, it's the same registration as the Pause to Remember Golf Bravo Papa Echo Kilo. Uh, it's one to 400 scale, and it's 45.59. Moving on to the last British. Airways aircraft of this release. We have the British Airways 757-200 in the Union Jack uh, livery. Basically a normal British 752. Uh, but, okay. The livery is normal, but the engines kind of look out of whack. I don't know if this is an animation error or if it's actually intention. Cause the engines look really out of whack. Um, what? Oh, Union flag. Aha, because the engines are swapped out. RB11 211535C engines. That's why. The engines are a little bit different. That's why. Uh, but it's just a normal uh, livery British Airways 757200. Uh, registration is Golf Bravo Mike Romeo Bravo. Uh, it's scale 1 to 400 and it's 4559. Moment of silence for NG. La Compagnie uh, 757-200. Um, if this was 2019, I'd definitely get it for EWR, but it's not. Because, uh, those of you who don't know, La Compagnie do fly to New York, but they fly as an AP-21 Neo because they retired all their 757s. Come on, NG. Are you, are you kidding me, NG? La Compagnie 752. Three or two? Two. Still, though, come on, La Compagnie. Are you... Not La Compagnie, NG. This really is... This is really making me angry. Um, I might get this, though. Taxi, come. Sorry, guys, my dog is going a little bit nuts. Um, I might get this. Um, but most likely, I am not going to get this. Taxi, lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Uh, guys, I'm going to quickly end the recording, uh, and I'll be back once I've finished handling with my... Um, okay, so, um, that situation handled, my dog handled, uh, like I said, this is the La Compagnie, uh, 757-200, um, I did spot this at Newark in June 2019 when I was on a Virgin Atlantic 830 going to London, um, but honestly, this model is not accurate. Um, because this model, I believe, was retired this year because of the pandemic. So, I don't get why NG is releasing it. Because, for people who do, like, Paris Orly and La Compagnie Focus Hubs, why would they buy this? This is, like, the exact opposite model of what they need. Uh, which is AC21 deals. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But, anywho, this is the model. Uh, it's La Compagnie. Registration is a Foxtrot Hotel. Oh, wow! It's the actual registration I spotted. Uh, it's Foxtrot... Uh, Hotel Charlie Indy Echo, scale 1 to 400, and it's 45.59. Moving on, we have an untitled, uh, untitled, uh, 747SP. From what it looks like, it is a Qatar, Qatari government, uh, 747SP. Um, basically, and no, it's not Qatar, it's Qatar. Um, it's Qatari government, I just say Qatar, Qatari plural, I just say Qatari, but then for Qatar I say Qatar. Uh, but you're actually supposed to say, you don't say Qatar, that's a, a foreign version of it. The actual way Qatari people say is they don't say Qatar, they say Qatar. That's how you're supposed to say it. But uh, anyway, is it Qatar, I'm just going to say Qatar for you guys to understand me. Uh, Qatar government from what it looks like, 747SP. Uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, you got the Qatar flag and I believe the Qatari coat of arms. Uh, but this is it's actually pretty interesting. It's registration is an Indian registration. Victor Papa Bravo Alpha Tango. 
but I don't know. Maybe it's an error. I don't know. Uh, but anywho, Victor Papa Bravo Alpha Tango. The scale 1 to 400, and the price is $57. Moving on, we have a South African Airways 747SP. Uh, this is probably going to be, and the other 747SP, those aircraft are probably going to be popular with those of you who are um, retro collectors. Uh, this is in the delivery library. Delivery livery? Library? Livery? Um, it looks very 1970s-ish, because uh, it's in the 1970s delivery livery. Uh, but looks pretty nice. Um, like I said, this is going to be popular with you South African retro collectors. Uh, but yeah. Um, registration Zulu Sierra Sierra Papa Foxtrot. Uh, 1 to 400. It's $57. Um, but I don't know why. 747SP is something that's shorter than like... I'm trying to find a comparison. Something that's shorter than like a... A330, I believe, would be would cost so much. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's $57. Moving on. This is on my maybe list. Like, first I need to see the, um, Gemini Jets, um, whatchamacallit, uh, November 2020 releases. But, uh, this is the JetBlue AT21 Neo in the, what, what's the library? Aruba, Jamaica, Blue, I Wanna Take Ya. Um, I searched up the registration before filming this. Uh, and this aircraft does fly to New York JFK, uh, but since JetBlue is getting like, I, I believe like lots of these, like, I think like 50 of them, I might get it, um, but I don't re I don't really need it for EWR because we only get AC-21s and AC-20s. This is one of those maybe models, like, I'll see what's going to happen in the future with JetBlue and them flying the EWR, then I might get this in like December, but this is on my maybe list, definitely this is a maybe, but I know this will sell out fast, um, because of course the JetBlue model and those of you who are building JFK, such as uh, CLT Aviation 13 or Gemini 13, same, peop same person, uh, I know you're going to get this, so, but yeah, personally I don't need it, but I might get it for Newark, even though it might not be that accurate. Uh, but no, registration is November two zero one six Juliet. It is one to four hundred, and it is forty five fifty nine. Okay. Um, I want them to make an Air Canada Route seven sixty seven. This is not what I need. I'm going off topic. Uh, but anywho, this is the Air Canada Route eighty twenty one. Uh, in the normal livery. Is it Neil? No, no, it's just the normal eighty twenty one. So basically, um. Air Canada Rouge is sort of Air Canada's budget, low-cost airline. Um, it's one of the few North American carriers that I know of uh, that actually have a still living low-cost airline. Um, Air Canada Rouge AT21. This should be popular for those of you who uh, do Florida, because Florida is very, very, very popular uh, for Air Canada Rouge. Uh, southern destinations, Florida, Los Angeles, Dallas... Uh, Fort Myers, Fort Lauderdale, those kinds of destinations. I know you guys are going to get this. And it's also going to be very popular with you Canadian collectors who do uh, Rouge hubs or Air Canada hubs. So, personally, I'm not going to get this. Um, but I'd love to see this livery in a 767-300. Uh, because I actually did fly Air Canada Rouge once. I was in 4th grade. I was, uh, it was in 2016. I was in 4th grade. I was... Uh, nine, I believe. I flew it in 2016. It was nine, fourth grade, uh, third grade, actually, going into fourth. I flew this. Uh, I flew a 767-300 from Prague to Toronto. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, let's move on to other information about the model. Uh, registration is Charlie Golf Hotel, Quebec, India. Scale 1 to 400, and it is 45.59. Okay, now we are on the home stretch. Wow. We have the Royal Air Force A330 MRTT KC30. This is basically the British version of Air Force One. Um, I, I personally don't need it for Newark, but I really, really like the livery. Uh, this is, by the way, this is the name Boris Force One because, you know, Boris Johnson, uh, at the time of filming this in November 2020, he is the Prime Minister of the UK. Uh, but anyway, this is they nicknamed it Boris One. Uh, this is the MRTT that carries uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, it's an AC30. 
looks pretty fly. Uh, it basically just says United. It has all the military stuff, and it's just really only difference between any other MRTT is that's white and it has a Union Jack. This is a very visually appealing uh, livery, personally. To me, oh god, to me, uh, it's a very visually appealing livery. It's a Boris Force One. I was gonna pre-order this in August, um, but I decided not to, and instead I bought uh, a United Triple Seven Three in turn of this. So that, that was kind of a good decision. Um, but this is gonna be very popular with those of you who do like Air Force Base at Kemble, uh, St. Athen, uh, other Air Force bases in the UK. Uh, but this, I know this model's gonna sell fast for you UK collectors. Uh, but anywho, uh, that's the, uh, MRTT. Registration is Zulu Zulu 336. It is scale 1 to 400. Uh, and it's... Why? It's $57. Like, I know you... Normal A330 is... Like, if you scroll up to the, um... Uh, October, uh, releases, $55. For a normal AC30, but then for the MRTT, which is, which is literally just an AC30 with like two more antennas and two more Wi Fi boxes, costs 57 I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anywho, moving on, we have uh, Malaysia AC30 300 in the Malaysia Nagaraku, Nagaraku, Nagaraku livery. Um, it's not a 300, it's 200, right? Uh, no, 300. Um, uh, Malaysia AT3300 in the Malaysian Nagaraku livery. Those of you who do Asian destinations or um, those of you who do Asian destinations or uh, Australian airports, etc., etc., such as YMML Aviation. I'll link him in the description actually. Go check him out, YMML Aviation. Go, go give him some more subs. He really deserves it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, those of you who do that, uh, not who do that, those of you who do destinations in Asia or who. Um, need this i should just getting it uh looks pretty cool it's just a one world so basically it's just like a normal malaysia livery just with the one world and the one world logo enlarged <laughs> uh but uh anywho that was the aircraft um registration is not oh wrong one sorry this is what the regular one looks like uh anywho registration is nine mike mike tingle juliet it's one to 400 scale and it's 55 dollars like, i don't know why but 57 or 55 two more dollars i don't know uh but anywho this was the one world that i just showed you guys by accident uh this is what it looks like uh it's an enlarged one world logo only difference registration is nine mike mike tango echo and it is a scale of one to four hundred now this is a lot of asian aircraft um a lot of asian aircraft there's one two three uh four wow uh but anywho we have the China Southern A330 in the China International Import Expo Special Paint Livery. Wow. Chinese airlines have very intricate liveries. I've noticed that. Um, I don't know what this... I don't know what it is. The China International Airport Import Expo. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it looks like flowers, pandas, flying on flight. This is a weird livery. Uh, personally, uh, I know it's gonna be popular. Those of you who are Asian collectors, Chinese collectors, Korean collectors, this is the model for you. Um, personally, I don't need it. I'm not getting it because I'm not an Asian collector. Uh, I'm not. I don't mean to be racist or anything, but I, I don't collect Asian models because I'm doing them. But anywho, this is what the aircraft looks like. Um, registration is Bravo five nine four zero, and it is scale one to four hundred. Okay, last two aircraft. Okay. This model selling out fast. This is the um, Delta A350 900. Wow, this looks really fly. The art, if the model looks, if the if the art is the same as the model, and like the model actually looks this good in real life, I might actually get it. I don't need it, but I might actually get it because it looks really, really appealing. Um, I know this is what it looks like. It's just a normal Delta delivery A350. This is gonna sell out fast because obviously it's an American model, so you know they always sell out fast. Uh, but anywho, that is the model. Uh, registration November five one two Delta November one to four hundred and it's fifty seven dollars. Yeah, no. Um, NG starting to milk their A350 model because why is there two A350s in the new release? Uh, but anywho, here's a Iberia. 
uh, last aircraft of today's releases. Uh, Iberia A50-900, uh, this is in the normal livery. Uh, this is going to be popular with those of you who do JFK, for example. I know Iberia Flight of the Air, JFK, Delos, etc., etc. Um, but I don't like Iberia's livery. It's too Euro weight for me. Like, this, that, that, that is way too Euro weight. Like, why don't you, like, put a, a flourish or something because of this? Or, like, why don't you extend the yellow across the future loss? Because this is, like, very, very bland in my mind. Um, but anyway, here's the aircraft. Um, looks pretty nice. Registration is Echo Charlie November Bravo Echo. It is scale 1 to 400 and it is $57 and it was named Museo del Prado. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Um, but yeah, that does conclude the NG Models November 2020 releases. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos. And comment down below. Um, what you're getting from these releases personally i am getting the delta 737 800 as a matter of fact i already have it on pre-order um the west jets um jet blue and la compagnie and air canada rouge there may be for me i might get them but i might not uh but anywho once again thank you for watching today's video please like subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos comment down below uh which models you're getting once again and thank you and i will see you in the next video once again thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one as always goodbye